Hi, I'm Carol Dickey, and um, welcome to my studio. Um, I've been an artist for, a full-time artist, for about seven to eight years. And um, before that, I, I did a lot of uh, um, drawing, and I did black and white photography. I did layout and design. I was a writer. And um, I think my background in, in, in black and white photography has really been pivotal. Uh, it taught me composition. It taught me um, value. Uh, a lot of a lot of painters, it seems like their value it's, it's there's not enough dark and there's not enough light. It's kind of blah. And black and white photography really taught me that. And what I always wanted to do was uh, landscape photography. And I, I never got good enough at photography to to really do that. Uh, and the black and white I thought was what I wanted to do, but then I discovered color. Um, and color has just opened the world to me. I was very fortunate to take a workshop in Colorado about uh, seven years ago with a, uh, a landscape artist, Steve Quiller, who has designed, um, who's really studied color. And he does uh, uh, landscapes in the Colorado mountains and, and, and he and I just clicked. I mean, it was just, he really helped me. He, he clarified things for me that that other teachers had not been able to. Since then, I have been uh, endeavoring to develop my own style, my own, my own voice, as it were, on paper, my own mark. It's not what you see when you look out there, necessarily, and, and I, I, I love color, and I love to extrapolate with color, and I love to try to impart what I feel when I am in what I consider to be a sacred space which are these paintings that I do. And I, I'm always experimenting. I, I'm a, when I say a mixed water media painter, what I mean is that I use watercolor, I use gouache, I use acrylic, I use casein. I also use pastel, which is a, a, a very high grade chalk, if you will. I use um, uh, charcoal. I, I um, in experimenting with all kinds of things. I, I use collage, I use paper, um, on paper to create texture. Um, I use all kinds of different surfaces. Uh, in, in the past, water media was uh, a very fragile media because a lot of the colors were uh, fugitive. A lot, of the, a lot of the reds in particular that they used would disappear or they would turn brown and they would be, um, the paintings would become very dull. Uh, but today we don't have that problem uh, because of a lot of research and um, we have great paints that are permanent. The colors will be permanent. Uh, I paint on a lot of surfaces. One of the paint, one of the surfaces I, I really like is a 300 pound watercolor paper, um, which is very tough. It's very thick. It's almost uh, like a cardboard. It's archival, uh, so it's not going to turn brown or green or whatever, it will stay a nice white color, and the, the paints will stay the color that they are. Um, this is a painting of the Buffalo River, one of the um, premier destinations in Arkansas. If you have not been to the Buffalo, you need to go. I think the thing about Eureka Time that, that's uh, so special is um, uh, the woman who runs it, and that's, that's Marsha Havens. Um, I have seen her grow from um, someone who loved art but perhaps didn't always understand why she loved it uh, to running, I think, the best little gallery in Eureka Springs.